My name is Christine, I'm from Tanzania, and I have some questions for the ambassador. Uh, one of them is um, the concept of spend money to make money. How will it help in tourism industry, basically in Tanzania and Africa in general? Well, thank you so much. Um, you must spend money in order to get money. In respect of, of tourism, uh, as I have indicated, in ITB Berlin, one of the most premier uh, tour shows in the world, Tanzania is being represented by more than 100 companies and more than 200 people are attending uh, this show uh, from Tanzania. Tanzania Pavilion is the beehive of visitors from all over Germany and outside Germany. That means we are using money so that we can increase the number of tourist arrivals into Tanzania, not only from Germany, but uh, from all over, all over Europe. Uh, because of our participation this time, we look forward uh, to increase arrival of Germans into Tanzania, for instance, from the current uh, about 65,000 to about 100,000 because uh, nationally we look for forward to increase tourist arrivals into Tanzania uh, to about 2 million by the year 2018. And we are spending money to reach that target. Um, thank you. Uh, to add up to that, um, what is Tanzania doing to other countries? How is Tanzania spending money in other countries to improve um, advertising, the tourism industry? Because uh, I've noticed in, let's say, a country like Thailand, example, you have a lot of youth going there, going there, but in Tanzania, it's very rarely to find a big number of youth saying that it's very expensive. So what is the country doing in terms of advertising and bringing more people, especially the youth from other parts of the world in Tanzania? Uh, well, uh, we target uh, youth as well. Uh, if you happen to, wo to follow uh, English Premier League, for instance, we promote Tanzania through English Premier League. Uh, we are partners with Sunderland Football Club. Uh, we are partners with, with, with Barclays uh, to advertise Tanzania uh, during the uh, Premier Leagues in, in, in the UK. We, we look forward to advertising in Tanzania in the United States of America through CNN, uh, American, American version. And we look forward that we will reach the youth of the United States of America. In, in Europe, and in Germany in particular, we have so many uh, programs for youth. Uh, Tanzania is the, one of the, one of the few countries which promote uh, voluntarism as part of tourism. The volunteers, young volunteers who go to Tanzania, and then they mix with local people, and they also uh, visit uh, attractions around the villages. And there is a lot to do, and we look forward uh, to increase our efforts so that youth uh, all over the world will get engaged in this very fascinating program. Thank you. One last question in terms of pricing, because I remember last year I had some friends coming to Tanzania and they couldn't afford so many things because um, going in game reserve and national parks, most of the prices, they are quite a bit high for the youth. So what is the government doing on that, especially on the youth? Because if you go to other countries, you have prices for the, for the youth and you have prices for the working class. So what is Tanzania doing on that angle? in terms of pricing, dividing the youth and the working class? Uh, well, they say Tanzania is fairly expensive compared to other, to other destinations in East Africa. But let's not forget that Tanzania has the best product. Uh, 
you can never find uh, Serengeti. Uh, millions of animals wandering in the in the space of land the size of the Republic of Ireland. Uh, you cannot find the highest mountains. Uh, single standing mountain, the roof of Africa, snow kept in the tropics like Kilimanjaro. And of course, uh, the beautiful beaches of Zanzibar. These are the, the best, best, best uh, products in tourism uh, sector, and that's why they are, they are fairly expensive. And our policy is not really in, in numbers. We, we look at quality tourism, and because we have the policy of, of environment conservation, we also take care of conservation, and by that we restrict the number of tourists. So coming now to your, to your questions, uh, there, are, there are some exceptions. We make exceptions. For instance, even within the tourism uh, destination in Tanzania, the prices are different. Uh, in the north, prices are a bit high, but in the south and in the west, prices are low because those are not well-known uh, destinations, but also very beautiful. But we can also make exemptions for young people who go there as volunteers, uh, those who go there as uh, researchers, and we can also make exception of youth generally who they go there as group, and uh, that can be uh, done through our tourist offices in our embassies in, here in Berlin, in London, in Rome, and elsewhere. Um, adding to that, maybe they make exception because of the uniqueness of Tanzania, but you have Nairobi and Uganda, tourists using Nairobi, going to Nairobi, and still coming from Nairobi to Tanzania. So basically they put prices that, which are cheap in Nairobi, but which enables them to come to Tanzania. Don't you think that kind of affects our economy in a way because another country is benefiting more than us while we are the ones having the uniqueness of tourism? Well, if I get you well, uh, uh, in East Africa, we may share, we may share uh, similar, uh, or similar destinations, uh, but mind you, we have different policies. As I indicated earlier, our policy is not, uh, is not numbers. Our policy is quality tourism, and uh, we also, we're also very careful about conservation of environment, and that's why, that's why it may be cheaper, maybe to go to a national park in Kenya, but fairly expensive to go to a national park in Tanzania because of this difference of conservation policies, uh, uh, difference in, 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 in national uh, uh, cultural policies, as well as concerns about security. Because entering, entering through borders means also uh, uh, we have tax uh, security in mind as well. Yeah, it's not about going to Tanzania, I mean Nairobi or Kenya National Park. What I was saying is Nairobi is advertising tourism, let's say going to Kilimanjaro in cheaper price. So tourists prefer using Nairobi as a pathway coming to Tanzania. You understand? Yeah, don't, you, yeah. don't you think that is going to affect yeah, our yeah. tourism department because another country is more benefiting than us? Uh, I have not understood you. What they normally do in Kenya is that they invite people to come to Kenya and see Mount Kilimanjaro. Is to see, but you can see Mount Kilimanjaro on the, on the Kenyan part, but you cannot climb Mount Kilimanjaro from, from Kenyan side. So. Uh, it's one thing to see the mountain, and it's totally another thing to climb the mountain. Uh, also, they may advertise uh, the Serengeti, because Serengeti and Masai Mara are the same ecosystem. Uh, if you go to the Masai Mara, that's only 8% only of the Serengeti ecosystem. So if you go to the Masai Mara, you see only 
only about eight to nine percent of the Serengeti ecosystem. That's why it may be maybe a bit cheaper. But at the end of the day, East Africa is East Africa. I would like to to promote East Africa as one destination because it's a package after all. Uh, we have a package in Tanzania is, which we sell here. This is Serengeti, Kilimanjaro, Zanzibar. But Kenya also sells uh, Masai Mara, uh, Zanzibar. Uh, so there is, there is no problem with that at the end of the day. It's the tourists who benefit, uh, local entrepreneurs who benefit at the end of the day. Thank you. I'll move it to my colleague. Mr. Ambassador, thank you for, for coming and hearing us, our questions. Um, we've talked a lot. You've also answered a few of my questions. I just have one more. I'd just like to know what you think um, in terms of foreign policy. Um, have there been any drastic changes um, now with the new or rather refreshed government? What is Tanzania doing to, to secure a sustainable future, not just in um, tourism, but also in other economic uh, sectors or educational sectors? Do you think that you, or what are the plans for, for um, um, attracting new investors now to the country? Thank you. I hope what you mean is the, 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 the new president yeah. who has just uh, taken up the, uh, the mandate uh, to rule the country. Indeed, uh, uh, the general elections does not mean change in policies, particularly uh, as far as uh, investment policies are concerned. Actually, uh, I mean, uh, with the with the coming of the new government and a uh, new president with vigor and uh, more efforts to promote good governance, I think it's more easier now for investors to come to Tanzania. What has changed actually is, uh, is the promotion of good governance, uh, uh, fight against corruption, uh, uh, fight against, against uh, uh, slow moving, of things in the, in the government system. Uh, this is an advantage to an investor. And uh, Tanzania has remained and will remain an investor-friendly uh, country. And as you know, Tanzania uh, has abundance in natural resources. As I mentioned earlier, uh, tourism attractions we, have, uh, we are rich in minerals, gold, diamonds, coal. Uh, we are now exploiting natural gas and petroleum. So uh, uh, what's, what's going to, to happen uh, within the circles of the new government, I think, is, to, is now to chart out how to make use of the money which will be accrued uh, through the exploitation of natural resources. And we look forward that more funds than will now be directed to the infrastructure, but uh, railways, uh, roads, and ports. As you know, uh, uh, we are now constructing a new railway line alongside the old German central railway line. We are upgrading. Uh, our old ports like Dar es Salaam, Mtwara and Tanga, and we are also uh, constructing a multi-billion uh, uh, standard of the art new port in Bagamoyo, 50 kilometers, 50 kilometers north of Dar es Salaam, that will cater specifically for uh, goods from Central Africa, as well as going goods destined for Central Africa, that's the DRC Congo, Rwanda, Burundi, Zambia, and parts of, of Uganda. Uh, uh, we, are on the, we, are, we are on the right track because uh, we are at peace with ourselves. We are also at peace with our neighbors, and that's why uh, Tanzania remains a gateway uh, to Central Africa and East Africa as well.